Let's look at one more criterion, the monotonicity criterion. And to me, this is one of the most surprising results in this entire theory. The criterion says if candidate X wins an election, and in a re-election, some voters change their votes to favor X. And the criterion says that X should win the re-election in that case. Well, that almost seems too obvious to bother stating. Uh, how could a how could a candidate, a winning candidate gaining more support not be the winner? And in fact, under plurality or board account, any candidate who wins and then gains more support will win a re-election. However, under plurality with elimination, it is possible for this criterion to be violated. Okay, so let's see an example how that might happen. We have an election with three candidates, W, K, and C. And let's, let's suppose this is for a president of a student council. Okay, so here is the preference table. The method that will be used is plurality with elimination. So let's see, we have W with 12. Remember, we're only looking at the top row under plurality with elimination. K has 9. And C has 3 plus 8, which is 11. Okay, so under plurality with elimination, no candidate has a majority, so then K is dropped. And after K is dropped, then what happens to the K votes? Well, those nine votes that we're going to K are now going to go to W and so we have W getting 12 plus 9 or 21 and C still has 11 so W is the winner. Okay so in the original election as it stands uh, W will win the election on the revote. But now suppose that uh, these three voters here, they have an idea of what's going to happen, and they want to get on the, the winning uh, side here before it's too late. So they decide they're going to change their vote from C to W. So now what does the preference table look like? Well now we have W has 15. Remember these votes are changed to W. Okay, K still has 9. And C has 8. Again, nobody has a majority, so what happens? Well, the lowest vote total candidate goes out, so that means C is going to go out. Remember, these are, these are still, these are W votes here. So now we look at these 8 votes here that went to C, and what happens? Well, now K is going to get those votes. So after C is eliminated, K gets 
eight more votes and wins. <laughs>